Pistons with Rotman. Two on one. Thomas is up. And Isaiah Thomas having an incredible. Starting a drive. Hey, fire. Yeah. He scores. The Bulls lead 87 86. Oh, my. Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, we're back. It's, it's tournament time, so everyone's favorite part of the season. I know it's my favorite part. It's the hardest part, most yeah. controversial. So after about an hour of going through all these teams, we finally, um, we're gonna go through all the seedings for the tournament, for the summer 2015 Ultimate News Tournament. So let's tell them you know, how the seeding goes, how many teams and everything like that. So. Yeah, there's gonna be 26 teams, mm -hmm. uh, eliminated four teams. Uh, the four teams that got eliminated were because they just didn't have enough. A lot and of people left for school and everything. Yeah, like some that, people so were leaving for school. Um, not gonna try to feel like so three. So the Nears are gone. Yeah. Um, the regulators. Regulators. Splash City. Splash City. And who's the other team? It's another. Uh, who's another Gilbert team? Huh? Gilbert oh, team. oh, B New. B New. Yeah. Yep. So. Some of the guys from Splash City and Regulators are, are, are joining the free agents. We're going to so. combine them just so we have five or six players on this yeah. team. We want, we want to have a competitive games. So, Yep, and um, games are going to be held Monday, Tuesday, next week, and Thursday. So Monday and Tuesday will be the first round. first round. Thursday will be the Sweet 16. Uh, it'll be Labor Day weekend. Yep. We give everyone a nice little break, yep. and then we'll come back and start again on Tuesday, Tuesday. night. We'll be the Elite Eight. Elite Eight. Wrap it up. Uh, we're final four, on Thursday. final four on Thursday, and then championship games. You know, it's gonna be to be determined right now. It's gonna be either Saturday or Sunday. It's it's opening day for football, football. NFL. So you know, it's really gonna depend. Football is life, man. Yeah, I'd rather watch football. Well, uh, no, so yeah. if, if if it comes down to it, we might have to push it to Saturday just because everybody might be. It'll be easier for the scheduling wise for people to get to Saturdays. But yeah, so. But it's gonna be fun, man. I mean, there's a lot of stacked teams this year. Yeah, it was tough. The middle, like like we talked about the the, the midweek talk with Mo and Javon. From 9 through 20, it was hard to kind of mix those teams up because yeah. they're just so similar. It's just hard to kind of put these teams together and match them up. So. Yeah. Um, and then also, I mean, the top four teams from each league gets a bye. Top six. Oh, well, yeah. Top four. Yeah. Each league gets a bye. Then we pick two wild cards to get a first round bye as well, too. Right, yeah. So the first top seeds will be getting buys in the first round. Yes. So they won't be playing until Thursday. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that, some of the seedings, I mean, we might get some crap for it, but it was. We want to match everybody up where they can play against a different club. So exactly, the yeah. goal is to you know so, kind of put you where you kind of belong. But we might have slot you down either a couple slots, slots higher, or slots lower, depending on the first round matchup. Because if you're a Scottsdale team, we're not going to try to match you up with another Scottsdale team. We're going to try to do a Scottsdale versus Palm Valley or Gilbert versus Tempe. Um, and then we also took into consideration the second round too. We want to make right. sure that you're playing a different competition in the playoffs because that's where the excitement comes from. The yeah. unknown, you know, playing a new team, get the excitement out there, the energy. So yeah. at the end um, of the day, it's about the experience. Exactly. It's not about <coughs> you. We're eighth. We should have been seventh. Yeah. Well, we got to push it down just because we had to. But all right. in all, we're trying to get the best matches we can. Um, all you got to do is win your games. One and done. So yeah. Good luck. So we'll get started. We'll announce and uh, we'll go from 26 all the way down to yep. one. Yep. So uh, we don't have all night, so we're not going to spend too much time on nah. each team. But uh, last seed, number 26, we have the West Side Gladiators from Palm Valley, Palm Valley. led by Chris Rory. It's, it's Another tough year, 0-7 right now, going to Sunday. I'm not sure if they're going to get a win this season, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. Um, the team, they actually, you know, they were actually a surprise team last year's tournament. I don't know if you remember, they were the team that almost beat game over in the first round. But they broke up a little bit. They I broke they, up a they little bit. They lost they, their point they, guard, so, Ramon. Yep, Ramon. They, so, they, a lot of people picked uh, from their team off, so it yeah. happens, man. Normal attrition. It's going to be tough. Uh, next team, number 25, we have the Gilbert Free Agents. Um, it's going to be basically a mixture of regulators and Splash City. Splash City. Um, because both teams couldn't, they didn't have enough for the tournament, so they're gonna basically jump on the free agent team. And they, they eventually just, just pretty much beat each other up. I think there was like one or two wins yeah. for Splash City. And so, so we're good. Yep. Uh, number twenty-four, we have the Tempe free agents, Myron Crawford and company. Isaiah, yeah. who's the other big Isaiah, man? Isaiah, Josh Bell, um, big man, big man. These are big. Blue Stevens. Oh, Tempe, Darren Tempe. Curry. Darren Curry's a good player. He's a good player. Yeah. So that's uh, um, they're gonna be competitive, but they got shout out to them for sticking together. Hey, you know, they're they one of the teams that I'm, I'm, I was thinking about pulling out, but you know they they show up every week. They show up every they week. Deserve, and they, they deserve like a playoff spot. Isaiah, Myron, you know, 
Curry, they, they show up. So give them credit, man. They're going to compete hard. Don't, yeah. don't sleep on them. They're a good team. They're, they're going to lose, but they're going to fight. I like that. Yep. Number 23, we have Unity from Palm Valley. Stuart Welch, Eddie Allen. Stuart, Eddie, yep. Isaiah. So they're, they're down to five players right now. They lost, uh, I know they lost their point guard. Um, can't think of his name. Rojas. Christian, 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 Rojas. Christian Rojas. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're down they're in the dumps flux. right now. Well, I mean, they have Brian still, but they, I mean, Travis hasn't shown up. They just don't have the depth. They don't have anybody like off the bench right now. They got to play hard. I mean, I've seen the games last time. Sometimes they let the game slip from them because they get a little frustrated. Yeah. But they got to hustle. Mm -hmm. but. That's the perfect lesson. You got to come with seven next season. Come with seven. So, number 22, we have the Whiteys shooting threes from Scottsdale. Patrick Danicola's squad. I like so, that team a lot. Hey, they look a lot better in the second half they of the season. They are a scrappy, guard-heavy team. Yeah. I talked about them all year. They're a good team. They just don't have the size. Yes. But in the playoffs, it's going to hurt them a little bit. But they, you got to watch out for the guards. TJ Becker, Patrick can play. You know, the other Tylers. They have five Tylers on the team. So. <laughs> Hopefully they show up, man. They, if they show up, Patrick's they are a scrappy team because they can score. So we got I mean, the only thing is I think we might have matched them up against a big team. So, <laughs> sorry, Patrick. But um, they are a scrappy bunch yeah. that can play hard. They can... They can yeah, they're coming win. together. They can come together. They, they can make it the second half. They beat the Sonics twice in the second half. Sonics twice. The boring jinx is the yeah. play. Yeah. Number 21, we got Hitman from Palm Valley. Um, that's uh, Manning Watts. I know you don't know much about them. Yeah. Um, a lot of their games came down to the wire. They, they had two or three overtime games. But they fight. A bunch of young kids. I think that's what Mo was talking about. They, 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 they kind of crumble towards the end, but they fight hard. Mm -hmm. uh, but they just don't put it together towards yeah. the end. But I mean, that's a done Adam Hamilton's team. on that team. Adam Hamilton. Yeah. He's so a scrappy player. He's kind of their, like, their leader. He's like yeah. their, their. You can tell he has energy. He plays hard. He can hit shots. Um, yeah. Get a lot of steals. So I like that team a lot. I like those kind of teams like that. But in the playoffs, you have to have size. So that, that might yeah. hurt a little bit. You have to come together because last two, three minutes yeah. are crucial for any team. Yeah. But it was fun watching him this season. It was like it was kind of like Adam's coming out party this season, you know, because he's been with old school. He's been kind of like you know the the guy off the bench. A little bit, but this, yeah. this season he's been shows, like he's like the heart and soul of that team. Do, yeah. I like so that. I like that. It's, it's his squad. Yep. <laughs> um, and then next we have number twenty, the Staff Brothers, led by Born Nub. Hey, I got hey. ball not control. Hey, it's your coming out party. <laughs> I shoot the ball, man. What are you averaging this year? Uh, measly like fifteen. Measly, game. measly fifteen. <laughs> I finally shoot the ball, man. <laughs> Well, you, you, we lost Brandon Bell shooting the ball 40 Brandon times Bell. a game. We lost Brandon Bell, which is, I mean, we're a scrappy team. We're a smart team. But last two, three minutes of the game, we say the same thing. We No size. Just, we no size. I mean, we have leads with about three minutes to go and we lose it because I mean, sometimes yeah. we just don't come together. But, I mean, we hang. Uh, don't mind a 60-point loss to the Tater Toss. <laughs> Wow, you gotta bring that up, man. That's a good team. Uh, but we're scrappy. Uh, yeah. We know how to play, but we just don't have size. Yeah. I mean, I thought we stayed pretty close for most of the games. We just kind of we're competitive. Kinda, then we but just... I don't give us much. <laughs> yeah. Let's not talk much about us. Next, number 19, we have the Twisted Steel uh, with Sex Appeal. It's been the a most, it's most um, I don't even know how to say, biggest disappointment. Biggest disappointment. Most, un I mean, I don't even know what to say about that team. Um, with the, we talked about this midseason. I think yeah, I mean, adding Tristan, everything. It just yeah, hasn't been the right mix. It just hasn't been the right mix. Yeah. Um, I talked to Sean. He says, you know, on Saturdays he comes out with Tristan and they just ball. They win. They, they run it. Yeah. When it comes to this one, they just don't put it together. So hopefully the playoffs is a little awakening call because I think last year they had a good, nice little oh, run. Oh, they had a nice run. They got but, to lead eight. But they had Tony. Yeah, Tony. Big man Tony. Uh, yeah. They don't have Tony this year, so we'll see how it plays out. Oh, uh, yeah. Hopefully they can turn <coughs> around because their season was a little disappointing. But, yeah, I mean, they're a veteran team. So you can't always. You know, if they hit yeah. shots, they have experience. They're, if they, they're a good shooting team, but if their offense comes together and they can play some some sort of defense, they should win. But yeah, being 20 C is not 19 C is not gonna help them. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Tough road. Number 18, we got Toolbox. That's his. Uh, this is our boy oh. Mo's team from Palm Valley. Palm Valley. Mo's killing so, it in Palm Valley oh, with yeah. that team. He's he's I mean, he's up for MVP. He's the born of of the Palm Valley. <laughs> I wouldn't put it that far. <laughs> you can't shoot like me. But, you can't shoot like me. Yeah. Uh, but they're yeah. a surprise team. I think, like I said, they play scrappy. Mo's doing a great job for that team. So, I mean, well-deserved 18 seeds. It's a solid spot for them. So Yeah. And yep. number 17, we have Upper Echelon from Tempe. Another, another team that – Another team in that bunch where they have a lot of <coughs> scores. They got a good play. Ray. <coughs> Ray's a good score. Tevin's the leader. You know, Brandon Maggiano. You know, Matt. But they just don't have that. I mean, they do have the size. I mean, Reggie they have size and now. Uh, Reggie and uh, the other dude. Yeah. Uh, Kevin McNeil. Kevin, but can they put it all together? Um, I see games where they lose it at the end as well too. They were up uh, a couple weeks ago, with about four minutes ago, and they lost it. So they're a team that lives by the three, die by the three. Lives by the so, three, you know, three. Yeah, Matt Shaheen, if he hits those threes, they're hot though. They're hot. Watch they out. hit it. Because yeah. I mean, the other night we were up ten on them. They came back. 
a couple of big threes. Uh, and that's what you got to worry about. Once they get hot, then you got to watch out. Good shooters. I mean, they got a lot of guard play, but if their bigs can complement them, it'll be, a, it'll be a dangerous team, I think. Yeah. Number 16, we have Self Made. Uh, this is same team pretty much as Unity. This Unity. is Stuart Welch's team. They so, have struggled in Gilbert's. Um, yeah. But they do, one piece they do have on that team is Adam, Adam. Bickerstaff off the. Yes. I wouldn't say off the bench, but they at least have somebody have another off the bench. score that kind of complements Stewart a little right. bit because Adam is a great shooter, uh, can handle the ball. Um, but again, I think their size is lacking because they have Isaiah. That's about it. Mm. Uh, and sometimes their defense lacks a little bit. But, but yeah. Number 15, we have our boy Brandon Walker's Illuminati. They're probably the most disappointing team to In me, Tempe. I think, as well, too. Talent, yeah. Talent-wise, they're there. Um, but I don't think um, was it the mix. I, I I wasn't quite sure what the they missed in a couple games. I think a couple games they, not all their players showed up. So I think that was the biggest key for them. So coming together, the cohesiveness in the playoffs would be interesting because not all they didn't play the whole I season think, together. I think their biggest issue. I don't think they have a playmaker on the team. Um, they just don't have a point guard to, to set them up. No, no. Brandon you know? has to play the point guard a lot, and that's not. Yeah, that's it not takes really. Away, it takes, not, takes away from him because he's more the shooting. Yeah, he's, he's, he's he spreads the floor. He spreads the floor from them. So, which leads to our next team, which I think has the same problem. It's also Brandon's team. Yeah, is set, set it, it off. off. They have. The they're probably one of the bigger teams because right. you got Lavelle, Jason. Yeah. Um, they, that's a big team, but again, they don't have that true playmaker. Play yeah. yeah, I mean, they got some guards. I mean, I think Brandon Maggiano's their smallest guy, but he's he's not a true true point guard for them. He doesn't really set him up, and you know, Blue's there, but he's yeah. you know. They don't, like you said, have a creator. A creator yeah. that gets them. They need a Donald Damuk on that team. That's what they need. Five assists, four turnovers? <laughs> <laughs> nah. I averaged 10 assists on that team. Because of me. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I shots. But yeah. Uh, All right. Number thir 13, we have uh, Super Sonics from Scottsdale. Started hot. Started hot. 4 0, right? 3 0, 4 0. 3 4 0. Number ranked. They were wow. ranked number one for a while. And then, then they, they just kind of fell apart in the second half of the season. It was like every game, the last four, I think. They lost to the Whiteys twice. twice. Brett guaranteed a 50 point win. Yeah. yeah. Wow. wow. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Derek, I haven't seen Derek. How was it? I don't know if he was here last week. I don't think week. he was actually here. Derek wasn't here last week either. So that's, that's what's going to happen. If they lose, it's basically Derek shows up. Derek and Derwin, those two big pieces added so much to that team because yeah. it opened up the floor for Brett and Kevin and yeah. Aaron to do their thing. Just like any team, you have big mice going down low, it opens up those shooters out there. They don't have it, they're just yeah. gonna be killed. And that's, that was, I think, happened to the Sonics a little bit. Yeah. They were able to dominate early, but then once they lost the big men, you're kind of Story of every team, to, man. You need to be. You're regulated back to the uh, high teens like everybody else. Um, number 12, game over. Wow. Former number ones, two, three Cs, yeah, dropping they, all the way down yeah, to they 12. They went from number two last season, right? Yeah. Two and four. Two. They're always the top two or three seeds every year we've done the playoffs. Twelve seeds is probably the lowest. You know what the funny thing is? This team might be the best better. team ever. They're actually better. I mean, you had Zach Andrews. Zach. They have Adam. Adam. But they came a little bit later. They came late. So, so I think the jelly. record doesn't uh, yeah. show, truly show who they are. They definitely should be higher. They league. should be higher. Uh, their cohesiveness still needs to come together. But that's a scary That's a dangerous team to play. seed. Yeah. Because you still have Donald, Jeremiah, and Josh. Now Josh is able to play a playoff Zach a little bit. So if yeah. they got a couple games under their belt a little bit now and then come playoff time, they might be really If we're looking really at just maybe. talent, they're, they're, they're probably top five talent maybe in the state. Oh, I agree. I agree. So. I agree. But you still yep. got to yeah. prove it. You still got to prove it. Yep. So number 11, we have the Tater Tots. They're a team that came in late to Tepe. Came in late. They're a good team. But Tate has done a great job of assimilating that team. Yeah, they two moved guards, the ball well. Two guards. That play off each other well. Mark is a true point guard who creates. Right. Then you got Joe who just shoots lights out if he can. Right. You got Big Man who's Gabe. probably one of the best big men I've seen just because he's so he's, strong and long. He's skilled. He's the very most skilled, skilled very big strong, man in Tempe. Plays good. So he's going to be a problem for other teams because he opens up the floor for Joe so much. And right. then, you know, Tate does his thing kind of just being a scrappy guy. Yep. So that's think, another dangerous 11 seed team as well, too, because they came late, late like you said. But that's another team that's kind of lacking the depth. They only have six guys on the that's roster. True. That's so true. it's going to come down to who shows up. They've they got up, a talented they five. Do, they do have a talented five for sure. So number 10, we have X over. Man. <laughs> that was hard because talent alone, they're top five, six easily. Um, but they've lost three games. You know, DeLon didn't show up for a couple of those games, um, so they lost kind of a bit. Dwayne held his own. I mean, Dwayne is, in my opinion, actually first team all Costa right now. Right. He's actually my choice for first team all Costa. So, unfortunately, they're five and three, so we had to push them down a little bit. But being a 10th seed right there, 
that's another dangerous team right there. I, mean, I would be very, Just like Galan said, you, they're always an underdog. They're always, and he, they appreciate it. They want to be doing it. Because they love that chip on the show. Yeah. They, they, so, they, we don't and, think of them as underdogs. But, and remember this. They finished Final Four every season. I think we've been here. Yeah. We've been here for five seasons. But we've always put them top four, top five. Right. So this is probably so this the, lowest the lowest we, we pushed them. Just because Scottsdale's so deep. I mean, yeah. we had to put three other teams ahead of them. And then yeah. with everybody else. So honestly, they're top four or five talent-wise easily in the league. If we just rank them by talent, top four or five easily. I but, agree. Um, that's whoever's going to play in the second round. Yeah. Better watch out. Because I, I will not put it past DeLon, Dwayne, Lavelle to kind of take them over to the top and make it to the final four, honestly. Yep. <coughs> that's a scary team. Number nine. They're gonna be a little pissed probably about this seating. We have hidden trips finishing the season at seven and one. Seven and one and ranked number, number nine. nine. But here's the thing: they lost Connor. Yep. Um, Gilbert, That's huge. Gilbert is probably not our strongest yeah. league. League. Uh, other than Kawhi Storm and a couple other ones, they, they yeah. it was a little easier win to get seven wins. So the wins are a little inflated, to my opinion. Yeah. Um, That's why. We, that's why we have Should they be nine. higher? No. Record wise, should it be higher? Yes. But. Yeah. If you look at the strength of schedule, strength yeah, of schedule, we, we just couldn't I would, do it. I would, we couldn't put them any higher than nine. Um, yeah. So, but they got to prove it. They can come strong. Yeah. Another, another wrong, guard oriented team. Although they did add some bigs towards later at the end of the did. season. I mean, um, they Matt, Cooper, big, Matt Cooper, Zach, Zach Bartels. Zach Bartels, big guys. Big guys. I mean, Zach's a big body. I mean, yeah. I, I like him. He, he plays rebounds. hard, rebounds, plays defense. So, uh, not an offensive guy. So they got to find offense through Isaiah and um, yeah. the other guards. So like losing that. a go-to score is going to hurt. Have, Connor was our almost MVP for Scott, yeah. though. Like our quiet Wilbur. guy, up and coming guy. So yep. losing him is going to be. Number eight, we have uh, Palm Valley Stars. Started off the season hot. Uh, 6 and 0. Lost going goal. down to old school, yeah. um, I think two weeks ago. And they're a team but, that kind of came together, right? They added a couple new pieces to kind of build yeah, the team up. They added Derwin, but which I think is going to really hurt them. Losing Derwin. Yeah. Um, because he's one of the best big men. But they did him. make a really big pickup. Uh, I don't know his name right now. The beard. <laughs> what is this? Oh, uh, what is? Yes. Well, sorry. Man. I just posted him on Instagram I know, the other actually, day. You know his pictures on there. Yeah. He's a big dude, though. Yeah. He, he's. I don't. I don't think he's as skilled as Derwin, but he's definitely he's a scrapper. But if he's a scrapper and he's big enough yeah. and he can play his role and gets buckets, yep. that's 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 yeah. a. Because you still got, you have. got major Porter still yes. there. Yeah. Oh, and they do have Kenny Dobbs. He's a high, Kenny high Dobbs. flyer. Yes. That, kid, that kid can get up. Can get up. I've seen him. Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna be a dangerous team. I would be surprised uh, if they make another one of those final. Four. Remember no, two seasons yeah. ago they made that final four they run. They made that final four they run. Had Even that. last year they made a I think the sweet, final elite eight run too. So yeah. they're there's they're a good team. They know how to play. But yeah, so they're a dangerous team. <clears throat> Number seven, we have uh, Brad Carroll 2.0. 2.0. This team kind of bothers me a little because sometimes Brad shows up, sometimes they don't. So sometimes yeah. they have five guys, sometimes they have eight. If they have all their players, that's a dangerous I team. Think, I think they kind of lost a step when they lost Chris Lynch. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I he's... I think what I heard was that he might have been going overseas. Is he overseas yeah. already? Yeah, I know he's done okay. some overseas stuff. So Early season, Chris was... Because with big, Chris... The big man down low that they opened were up for the best Jason, team in Tempe. for Mike. Oh, easily. With Chris, Chris is one of the best big men in, in, in Tempe. Yeah. Losing him a little bit, they had to put John Skelton in there. John's a good player, yeah. but he's no Chris yeah, Lynch. Yeah, he's not as good as Chris. Um, so that's what's hurt him a little bit. I think that's going to hurt him in the playoffs. Yeah. And if they don't show up with all five, six players, they might yeah, get upset in the first round. Yeah, older or, team with no older. depth. So that's yeah. tough. They're a big team still. I mean, they're, they're big, guard yeah. oriented. I mean, Connor's a big guy for them, but we'll see. Yeah. Losing Chris is big. Number, so now we're at six. So basically, these the remaining six will have a bye. Uh, number six, we have 20 or better. Mike Bibby's team. I'm pretty sure he's pissed at me. <laughs> number six. Yeah. There's a <laughs> man. Controversial losses. Controversial. Yeah, two controversial losses. Um, you know, but you know what? I think they're the most talented team. They're starting right five. Now. I think when I looked at it, starting five, they all play D1. Yeah. They all play D1. They're like the only team that has all D1 this players, like which the, means. This is like the Michigan Fab Five. Yeah. They're, they're, <laughs> they're a very smart team. I mean, having Bibby as a leader, but Seth is like the, to me, like the X factor for them because he makes everything go. I mean, he's hitting mid ranges, getting assists, getting rebounds. To me, I know it's Bibby's team, but Seth is the. Let me ask you this is this team better than last year's team? Last year's team. If had they had Kyle. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Kyle is. Kyle is a beast. A beast. My, f I know I say this about all yeah. bigs. I love bigs, but yeah. he is so skilled. I mean, he's playing. He's gonna play overseas, so I doubt he's gonna play. Hey, for shout that. out on that dunk on Zach Andrews today. Did you catch that? I saw that. Wow. Did he catch I, it on tape? Yeah, I, I never. Heard it. Yeah, I I've never it. seen Zach get dunked yeah, on. Zach. It's seen usually like Zach dunking on people's, people's souls, but, but I, <laughs> he got him. He got him <laughs> with a left hand too. With a left hand, but Ooh. missing Kyle's gonna be big for That's them. But they still have some depth. They still do. Um, so they'll pretty much have the same team. Well, you know, if Curtis stays, Curtis, 
Curtis is a great. Curtis Still. actually plays um, Jesse, so they kind of just love yeah. interchanging pieces. But I think Curtis is a lot better shooter than Jesse, though. Yeah, Jesse think, might be a better playmaker. I but think Jesse was a better playmaker for them. For so sure. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll that. see. Number five, uh, Splash Brothers, getting controversial a controversial win, win. tonight. Um, I, there's a lot of turmoil on that team right now. A lot of turmoil. A lot of bickering. A lot of bickering. Fred walked off the court. Yeah. Um, he's frustrated with the play, his team, the refs. I don't know. Yeah. He gets frustrated. I mean, he's, he's an emotional guy. He's a great player, but he gets, his emotions get the best of him, which mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't blame him. I mean, it's, a, it's an intense game, but. Um, this might it, be the last run for the Splash Brothers. It might be. You know, um, unfortunately. They they put together some great teams, but they just haven't yeah. been able to get over that hump. Um, so. Being a number five seed is probably the lowest seed they've had, so it's going to be another uphill battle because the teams above them are pretty tough. But, but Jay, so. having Jay and Nick and Fred. <laughs> that's tough. It's a tough three. Yeah, if you get them on the same page. Same on the page. That's the, that's, that's the, that's the hard that's part. It's a dangerous three. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully they show up. Hopefully so show. number four we have... Well, number four right now is we have old school, but it could be the Palm Valley Stars. If, yeah. Depending on Sunday, because they sold, they, they still they have still games play to play on Sunday. But old school has a tiebreaker regardless. Right. Well, oh no, what? because well, they, according to tonight, yes, they do because they they oh. they've only played once. Oh, okay. So this you. is gonna be their second matchup gotcha, this season gotcha. on Sunday. So depending on the point differential, Palm Valley Stars would have to win, and depending on the point differential, that's a big game then. Because, yeah, it's a huge game. But old school is not the same old school we've no, seen from the past not. years, right? They lost Dan McClintock. They lost Ben. They lost Gerald. So yeah, they're they're not the same team. Not the but same they, team. But you can't count those guys out. I mean, they still got Donald Lair, Charles Williams still yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, they're still gonna run the team. Kevin Dubose. Not having Dan, I think, is the biggest thing. Because Dan being a seven footer down low, yeah. altering shots, smart That's player. That's gonna be tough for them. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be uphill battle. But uh, number three, we have. Pippin ain't easy. The newcomers, young bucks. Came out of the, just came Ooh. out of the gate, just blew everybody hey, out, man. Hey, these kids can play. Kids can play, man. These kids can play long, lengthy, efficient, smarts. Their defense, no joke, cause they're long. I mean, they they remind me of kind of balls hard a little bit, cause they press a lot, they play real, they, you know, they get yeah. lost deals. You know, Jared is probably one of the more un, not underrated, but he's you gotta watch out for Jared. He's he's a good player. Yeah. They still have Kyrie, so. But they're a team that might not have the five. Unfortunately, that's, a couple of. That's, that's unfortunate that's, because I really wanted to see, to see them play because I they came in Tempe guns a blazing, man. They were, when the big games <coughs> came out, they came out. Guns <coughs> I mean, they beat Brad Carroll. They beat um, some of the bigger teams out there. So they came yeah. to tater tots and stuff. So they came out hard. So if they were all together, I would love to see them kind of make the run here. Yeah, for sure. So number two, we have uh, Quiet Storm from Gilbert. Fred, Fred Steam. They won with four last week. That was an impressive win. Impressive win. Against set it off, too. It wasn't an, just an easy win. He had already pegged Quiet Storm to lose. Yeah. It would have been easier for us. <laughs> but Fred done messed it up. No, uh, but that's still a good team because they still have, what, Fred, Jay. Jay counts as two guys. Jay is, he, he's, he's a beast, man. I don't know. Uh, Jay is unstoppable, man. He, he Once is he gets his head down steam, I mean. Ain't nobody stopping him. Stopping him. He's a shack of this just, league. Uh, he is. He is. That's the so, yeah. It, but again, we put them at number two because Gilbert's a little bit weaker in that sense. I mean, eight they got blown impressive. out last year by Ball So Hard. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see if they match it'll be up again. See if they have the five because you know Josh Van Gundy got hurt. Yeah. Um, that's gonna be a big blow to him because he's a good shooter for them. Not having only five guys, Josh Henderson might play. Yeah. So hurt, he's been so hurt, but he. He might be. Able he's to gonna play. be an X factor because he's gonna. They're gonna need him off the bench. They need him off the bench because you're not gonna be able to win this tournament with five guys. It's gonna be tough. I mean, Braxton plays well, but they need at least six. Not players. winning with four for sure. <laughs> not winning four. Yeah. Splash Brothers didn't even win with four. Nobody's yeah. gonna win with four. So. Yep. Quiet Storm, you know, eight no, but number two because of the, the strength of schedule. And at number one, defending champs, also hard. There we go. Yeah. They, Are they uh, the favorites to win. They pulled out a gritty win tonight. That was an impressive win against a 20 or better team. That was. Um, missing some guns, too. Missing some guns, and they still came out strong. I don't think anybody had a great game, but they played their game again. Defense. Yeah, it's Smart ugly. Play. It's, it's always yeah, ugly with that ugly. team. Yeah. They're going to play physical with you. They're going to ride you, but that's what they do best. Because yeah. if you can't play with that against that, you're not a good enough team to play against yeah. that, you're going to get blown out. The good teams can hang yeah. a little bit, but what they do is get a little chippy, you know, throw a little elbow here and there, they'll ride you. These guys are the bad boys. They are. These guys, yep. And now they're number one, so we'll see if they can ride it. I mean, LJ always yep. thinks, everybody thinks we always, like... <laughs> you lose Terrell, that's tough. I mean, he, he was an enforcer an inside. Enforcer. But then you add Dwight Peterson. Dwight is a great he's addition a, for that team. He's a lot more skilled, skilled than Terrell. Great shot. Great shot outside. Great shot outside but shot. 
defensively, no, I think they're they're a step. They lost a step. They lost losing Brandon Terrell. Bell too. Yeah, Brandon, Bell Brandon Bell too. Another, another weapon off so the So defensively, they might not be as good as last year. I mean, you're losing Terrell Brandon. That's true. But you're adding a more skilled big man in Dwight. That's why so. I think the games have been a little bit closer this year. Uh, one fact is everybody's gunning for them. Two, they don't have the same players they had last year. They're more offensive, like we said, not defensive. Yeah. But they still got the core of Zach, LJ, you know, Adam stepping up a little more. You know, yeah. D Max still do Yeah, Adam, I think Adam's going to have a key up. role. If He's going to have to play that Brandon Bell to, role. Yeah, if, if Balsahar wants to repeat, yeah. Adam's got to step up and hit the shot. Because right now, teams are going to key on yes. Termaine. Yes. So they're going to need another score. If Gabe and, a perimeter score. Gabe and Gerald's got to show up. Yeah, too. Gerald's got to show up. Those are the two scores they need as well, too, because they struggle scoring if they don't have those guys. Cause, exactly. You know, D Max are main go to score, and then Adam's got to pick it up. So, yeah. So that's going to wrap it up here. That, that, that's 1 through 26. Uh, make sure to check back next week. We'll be previewing the Lead 8. Lead 8. Giving our yeah. picks who's going to win. Hopefully, yeah, we'll have the whole, whole team here. Unfortunately, we couldn't get everybody out to Scottsdale. But, um, All you need is me. <laughs> yeah, I get ratings. We won't do our picks yet. It's still early. So right. We'll wait till next week when everybody's here. It'll be more fun. It'll be real fun so, talk about thanks it. for watching. Let's looking forward to a fun tournament. Fun. See you guys next week, guys. Thanks.